about the towns. Uh, I am very mindful of uh, what was presented as to Mr. Holder's uh, mental health history. I'm also mindful of devastation caused to the victims and their families. So I think uh, this sentence balances both. Uh, the principal term in this sentence will be count three, the 245A2 on Mr. Layton. The court selects the midterm of three years in state prison. For the gun, there will be an additional four years in state prison consecutive. And then for the red bodily injury allegation that was filed true, it will be uh, three years consecutive to that. So for count three, it will be a total of 10 years in state prison. As to count two, which was the attempted voluntary manslaughter, Mr. Layton being the victim, uh, the court has doubts as to the viability of that count because there was no provocation uh, by Mr. Layton. Same holds true for Mr. Ben Wade. Uh, the court believes that uh, it is 654. Uh, so that the court would impose the midterm of three years plus the four years and the three years but stay uh, those sentences. As to count five, uh, the 245A2 as to Mr. Uh, being away, uh, the court uh, selects the midterm of three years plus the four years for the, that's the midterm for the use of the gun. Uh, it's a total of seven years, but run that concurrent. As to uh, count four, the attempted uh, voluntary manslaughter. Again, this court feels that uh, 654 is applicable so that uh, it would impose the three years, uh, the midterm, plus four years for the gun, but stay. Once again, if the court is incorrect about that application, it would be the midterm of three years, plus four years for the gun and that would run concurrent. As to count six, Penal Code Section 298-0081, a possession of a firearm by a felon. As this was the uh, gun used, or one of the guns used uh, uh, by the defendant. Um, court feels this is 654 and would select the uh, midterm of two years and state that uh, otherwise it would be two years concurrent. 